Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I have a 28 inch 4K monitor from Samsung. This is the UE590D. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about it. It comes with a power supply, a display port cable, an HDMI cable, a quick set guide, and a setup CD. On the back of the monitor is laid out very easy. You have two HDMI cables, one DVI port, a headphone output, and a 14 volt input for your power supply. This monitor is very easy to mount due to the standard screw set on the back of the unit. On the back side, you have this little toggle, and this is how you get through the menu systems. You can go up, down, side to side, and then you press the center to go ahead and OK. Now I'm going to show you the menu system. If you press the OK button in the back, you get this little display. If you click over here and hit OK, you can change your inputs right there. And then go up and down. Now if you see, I have it on display port, so it's back to normal. And the center is your turn. If you press down, that's your power. And then over here you have your picture and picture. And then you have your menu right there. That's what we're gonna go into. In your main menu, you have picture, brightness, contrast, sharpness, color. And if you drill down to color, you have red, green, blue. You also have angles. So right now I have it on custom, but you can toggle it over to off, lean back, lean back to. Standing mode, side mode, group view, and back to custom. I'm going to turn all this off for now. You have eye saving mode, you have gaming mode, and always own gaming mode. Here's where you can change your response time down to one millisecond. You can do standard, fast, slow. Change your picture size, automatic or wide. The next one down is picture in picture. If you have another input on it, you can change that to uh, the other inputs you have on the back of your screen. And it also gives you a side by side so you can have literally two screens going into it at the same time. And then you can toggle down to source. Next you have on screen displays, your system. So you have your economical mode where it can turn the power saving on. You can put a timer on it. You can do PC or audio video mode. This tells you the different versions of display inputs. Source detection allows you to manually choose it or you can just wait to it to find an input and it'll switch by itself. The information shows the signal that it's getting. For example, I'm running off my Mac laptop right now. It's running at 2560 by 1440 at 60 Hertz. And there's your exit. Now when it's in resting mode, if you toggle from left to right, you have your volume control or you can scroll down for mute. I do have this program called Switch Res X and it allows you to override some of your different uh, settings in Max to be able to use it. So if you go down here to this particular monitor and hit resolution, right now I'm running at 2560 by 1440. Unfortunately, the 4K doesn't come up as an option, even using a 60 Hertz cable and everything. But I'm sure it works on some of the trash can Macs or some of the higher end ones, but for this one, it doesn't work. So let me show you some examples of the picture. All right guys, just letting you know, I'm not a really big gamer, but I do have like the original Xbox. This is not a 4K version of it, but I do have it running through this monitor. So I'm gonna show you the picture in picture, how that works. And also do just a little game playing with uh, Mortal Kombat, which is an older game, but I still like it. So if you hit the input here, scroll over to picture in picture. You can then turn the picture in picture on. And then I have the MacBook plan here and I have uh, Xbox plan here. If you need to change your sources, if you go down to source, and then right now I have it set up for display port on one and HDMI two on the second one. But if you arrow up, you can change your inputs right there on each of these right there. And then if you hit apply, it'll go and take those new commands. So now you can use your computer over here, a gaming system or whatever you have input here. 
So now let me show you Mortal Kombat real quick. Okay, now I got the game going. Let's see if you can tell the difference. This is without the gaming mode. Now this is with the gaming mode turned off. So now let's turn the gaming mode on. So I noticed the action is a lot more smoother on it with the gaming mode turned on. So overall, if you're looking for a new monitor, this may be the one for you. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.